another boring week. You wear a mask when shopping for groceries, wash your hands thoroughly, and manage to bike every other day. The only thing that's been amiss this week is a light fever, until you start coughing and struggling to breathe. When doctors measure your oxygen levels, they're dropping rapidly. Like you, many COVID-19 patients don't experience signs of oxygen deprivation until levels are dangerously low. Even as air sacs collapse in the lungs, the body subconsciously takes slower and deeper breaths in a phenomenon known as silent hypoxia. Is there any way to combat silent hypoxia and discover low oxygen levels before it's too late? As it turns out, the pulse oximeter can do just that. Pulse oximeters latch onto your finger, ear, or toe and measure oxygen levels in your arteries. They're accurate, reusable, and easy to use. And you don't even have to draw blood. Instead of drawing blood to calculate the oxygen concentration, pulse oximeters use color. Colors that we see in everyday life are just the different wavelengths of light reflected by objects. This reflection is caused by wavelengths that are absorbed and re-emitted by the outer electrons of atoms, and those are the colors you see. Standard pulse oximeters are equipped with two LEDs. One is red, emitting wavelengths of 660 nanometers, and the other, whose light you can't see, is infrared, emitting wavelengths of 940 nanometers. Most of the oxygen in our blood is carried in a protein known as hemoglobin. When hemoglobin bonds to oxygen, it changes shape and reflects different wavelengths. Hemoglobin without oxygen reflects more infrared light and absorbs more red, while hemoglobin bonded with oxygen is the reverse, reflecting more red light. You can see this effect when you get a cut because fresh oxygenated blood is a brighter red. As you can see on this graph, the higher the curve is, the more light the hemoglobin absorbs. Because pulse oximeters have to measure the ratio of oxygenated blood in the arteries, we have to make sure veins don't skew our calculations. Luckily, artery blood volume fluctuates with our heartbeat, while venous blood volume stays relatively the same. Because of this, pulse oximeters can easily record the amount of light reflected using a detector, separating out the fluctuating blood levels from the steady ones. The ratio of red to infrared light is translated into a value, SpO2. SpO2 100 is the highest capacity blood can be oxygenated. The average levels are 92 to 97. You should be concerned when values dip below 90, even if you don't feel out of breath because of silent hypoxia. Pulse oximeters are an instantaneous and easy warning sign, not just for COVID-19, but for other respiratory diseases. Be careful though. Pulse oximeters should work in tandem with other observations, and you shouldn't neglect to check for other symptoms. After being sent to the ER, you've managed to recover. Even though you're mostly in the clear, you're instructed to check up on yourself with a pulse oximeter. So you think this entire experience could have been avoided if you had one of these tiny devices beforehand.